Hello, I'm Preston. And I'm Krista. And we are at Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. That's right. We drove two and a half hours, almost three hours east to make it to Rehoboth Beach. Don't really know anything about it other than the fact that it's popular with the Biden family. <laughs> so we're out here for how many days? About a day and a half, Just right? A day and a half. We got Rehoboth Beach on the list. We have Ocean City on the list. And maybe if we have enough time... Check out the Assateague National Park on the Maryland side. That's right. So very spontaneous, nothing concrete planned, but it's still beautiful out. Just arrived. Ready to explore? Let's do this. Let's do it. So we made it to Rehoboth Beach. It's a mile long, so if you go up and down, it's two miles. First impressions of Rehoboth? Uh, it's really cute! Yeah. Has a cute, short boardwalk. Just has nice bars and restaurants and shopping on the side of it, right? Mm -hmm. When was the last time we were at a beach? It's been a long time. Oh my gosh. I think it was pre-COVID. Yeah. Wow. All right, you got to feel how soft the sand is. Okay. It feels so nice. Three, two, one. Whoa! Is it nice? It is really soft. All right, time to. Oh my to... gosh! All right, Kiki, you know what time it is? What time is time it? Time to cue the Kiki walking alongside the water. Music montage. Three, two, one. amazing. She's confused why her footsteps are not making a deep impact. KK, why do you think? <laughs> no. Are you super light maybe? <laughs> Am I? Or is the sand like super compact? And <laughs> then I gained like COVID-20. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know why. As soon as you step, then the sand's filling up again. The water, look. That's Whoa! Up. Almost immediately. Yeah. This is how we entertain ourselves at the beach. <laughs> anyway, even though we're only here for a day or two, totally worth it. Driving out a couple hours from DC and ah, fresh air smells so good. KK, yeah. how good does fresh air smell? <sighs> Never gets old. We just walk from that end, and as you can see, there's nobody there. And we're walking back towards our car, towards the entrance. And right behind K, there's tons of people. We're vaccinated and all, but every time you see a large group of people, still gotta be careful. Maybe we should go back on the boardwalk. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. All right, we got fun land here. Is it fun? Oh, this guy's winning. Oh, it's a close one. Number 11's on top, the brown one. This is riveting, KK. This is nail biting. Oh, the dark gray takes the lead. And folks, it is not a close race. Uh-oh. And we got a winner. Good job, brown horse. Fun land is huge. It just keeps going down there. What? Bumper go-karts here? What? That is crazy. All right, so we survived this end of the boardwalk. As you can see, it calmed down a lot. We just got a couple more stores here. KK, a lot more peaceful down here now, right? Yeah, I guess once you get past Funland. <laughs> Funland. <laughs> it actually did look fun. This end, you also have a lot of beautiful homes. KK, look at these homes. So cute. Oh my God. I take it back, actually. Not many beaches we visited have a oh. cute little boardwalk with these beautiful homes right next to it. Yeah. So the sky is turning on beautiful pink cotton candy. And oh, what a great first night here. 
we looked over to our right and we saw this body of water that we're going to check out today. But look at all these beautiful big homes on either side. Super, super nice. So pretty. It's basically like a private enclave of all these homes alongside this body of water. Look at this dock with those two chairs. Private property but such a cool setup. Okay, I finally understand the appeal of Rehoboth. Like the boardwalk is a boardwalk. But then you come to these neighborhoods, yeah. right? Outside of the boardwalk and alongside it with these beautiful homes. Like, wow, this is the magical Rehoboth. You hear the birds, you can hear the ocean, you feel the breeze. Mm-hmm. <gasps> cool place. This is the main uh, square. Kiki has to check it out, even though nothing looks Scandinavian, but we'll see. Swedish pancakes here. Kiki found some uh, Norwegian coffee crunch is here. Is it We got We got Lakaro, good stuff here. What else? Swedish Queen's Blend Preserve. Okay, so these guys actually do have some good stuff here. Swedish Pala Horse. But they have like a lot of uh, jewelry, a lot of glass art. Very cool. It's the Finnish cookbook. You found a Finnish cookbook. I've been looking for this book. Wait, this particular one? Yeah, this one. Really? This one's really hard to find. Oh, so if we get it, then you can cook a lot of Finnish stuff? Mm-hmm. Staying at Comfort Inn here in Rehoboth. Last minute booking. Last minute booking. What happens? All right, we're in. <sighs> anyway, okay, good first night. I think that was a success in Rehoboth. Yeah. Got to see some homes, got to see a beautiful lake. The got boardwalk. To see boardwalk, some restaurants, some bars. The boutiques. Be and a beautiful sunset. Yeah. So I think tomorrow is our only full day. So we're gonna zip down to Ocean City, I think. Yeah. And then maybe go to Aztec, mm -hmm. sit back up here and chill. Maybe get some good food over here. Yeah, we'll see what because happens. Because we found some great restaurants. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna take it easy now, but we made it, Kay. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> morning, KK. Good morning. Woke up bright and early to drive to? Aztec. Let's go. Okay, where are we? We are at Astig Island, more specifically Astig Island National Seashore to see the Chincoteague ponies. This has been a dream 20 years in the making. I grew up reading Misty of Chincoteague by Margaret Henry, horse crazy young girl, and now we're gonna try to go find them. <laughs> oh my God, there's another one. There's another one, there's another one. Go, go, go. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so many horses. There's so many horses. Kick it, come on. Oh my god. Okay. They're like giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it, we're really lucky out today seeing all the ponies. Oh, she's so happy. Yay, dream come true for KK. Come true. On the way out, we saw six more ponies. So, grand Six total. more. Seventeen. Seventeen ponies in Assateague. We wow. would have been happy just with one. Yeah. For the record. But, ah, oh, it was honestly the coolest horse experience and the coolest beach experience oh. I have ever done. Yeah. Totally recommend this place. We're coming back. Yes, we are. <laughs> Check it out. And to get some ramen. <laughs> Try it, try it, try it. Oh my god! That's freaking 
fucking amazing. The, the Japanese limoncello, yuzu sake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so we got the black garlic bumpetsu ramen. Look at that, you can just tell that the, raw, the broth is going to be really thick because the garlic oil is just sitting right on top of it. Here I go. Mm. Oh, is it good yeah. ramen in your Hobbit Delaware? I mean, it's very good broth. I haven't tried the noodles yet. This is the only ramen place down here. Mm. And apparently they make their own noodles too. Oh. Wow. Thank you. Oh wow. Thank you. Is it oh, good? Man. Great texture. Oh my god. Yeah. You get the balance, but you also get that al dente chew and the flavor. Oh, so good. KK approves. KK approves. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. oh. It's tender and it has such a beautiful kind of like almost a maple smoked flavor. Mmm. And then Kim, the owner, he gave us a sample of the cowboy Yamaha. Yamaha. It's a smoked sake. So let's see how it goes together. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. It's a hit. It's a hit. This is yeah. the Hakai-san. Yeah. Look at the bottle, it's so cute. Yeah. My name is Gi. She's amazing. Thank Gi? you, Gi, yes. If you come here, say hi to Gi. Hi. <laughs> Man. Man. The sake collection here is no joke. I, I think it's better than places in New York. Mm -hmm. I'm driving, KK has the wonderful responsibility of finishing one, two, three. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a good day today. That was one of the best experiences ever. Cool. If you're ever here, go to Miyagi. Oh my God, ask for Kim, ask for John. Sake selection's the best, the food is so good. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm just blown away by the hospitality, the kindness, the love, like, oh. All right, we just made it to Gordon's Pond right here. So we're just gonna explore a little bit. Maybe just walk along here, try to find that pond. So cute. So cute. What's the baby rabbit called again? A bunny. A bunny. It's after five and the sun, KK, the sun. It's really. It is still. It's scorching. Scorching and intense. <sighs> I feel like that horse on the beach when they went to go to go hiding in the shade. Yeah. There's supposed to be a boardwalk here. So we're just trying to find it right now. Uh, okay, so we've been walking 10 minutes. Uh, we 0. Don't see 0.4 miles. Yeah, and we don't see any sign of the boardwalk as you can see. So KK, take out Google Maps, satellite view, and what did we discover here? Um, it's pretty far out. Starts. So yeah, that looks like a boardwalk for sure. Right, it has the shadow. And then... And then where are we? We're here. Oh my god, and it's so it's hot. It's so hot. And it, people that are passing us all have bicycles, so. Yeah, we don't have water, we don't have snacks. <laughs> and oh I have boy. shoes that I've never worn before. My oh neighbor. boy. Uh, I think it's worth coming back again. Okay. With proper hydration. Yeah. Because we have to walk a mile there and then walk a mile back in this heat. We did it. Okay, we found another amazing beach. Yeah. This is called Lou's Beach. And it goes all the way around. Look how cool is this. There's a beautiful sunset happening behind us here at Lou's Beach. I'm gonna do a quick spin. Ready? Bright, 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 bright. Ah, much better. Just gonna get in the water. Oh, no, 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 no,
front row seats to a beautiful sunset day. Mm -hmm. For those that are curious, this is how KK watches the sunset. <laughs> she doesn't need sunglasses or a hat, she has her own personal UV filter. <sighs> you getting hungry? A little bit. We still have 45 minutes left. Last thing we're gonna do here <laughs> is the feast. All right, you ready for dinner? Our final night here, yeah. we have 10 minutes to spare and we're just walking along the main street here at Blue's. It's super cute. We are visiting a restaurant called Heirloom. It's a new American, local, it, fresh farm yeah. table. It looked really good. It did. How was that dinner? Oh my god! Oh my god! That dinner was freaking amazing. All I'm gonna say is definitely get the octopus. Super tender. Oh, that pasta! But you have to get the pasta. You have to get the pasta. Not gonna say anything more other than the fact that they made the sauce out of strawberries. Strawberries! It was amazing. Yes. And then KK got the chocolate pudding at the end, and it was. It was utterly delightful and it was smoky. Yeah. All in all, amazing <laughs> restaurant, KK. Great find Thank you. and a great way to end the trip. What a day, K. What a day. <sighs> Love you. What a day. Always a pleasure, K. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of the museum so far? It's really cute. Yeah, it's so clean. Completely free mm -hmm. and a great way, I guess, to learn history, right? Yes, yes. And uh, what we learned is that Rehoboth started as a camp meeting ground for uh, Methodists um, and over time then became this resort town. This is the Lingo Bible and it referenced Rehoboth right there. Genesis 26, 22. 26, 22. And he removed from thence and digged another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth, and he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. All right, unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye. This was a spontaneous trip. We were only here for a day, and there's only so much you can do. But what were, what was your standout? Uh, and they easily, even though it's not in Rehoboth, but the Assateague Island National Seashore to see the wild horses. I 
lifetime dream come true. It was epic. And then for me, it was Miyagi, comfort food, but better hospitality and service. Huge shout out to John and Kim. If you go there, tell them hi. One of the best sake selections we've seen to date. Yes, absolutely. And the food is fantastic. Mm -hmm. But again, so beautiful out here. The beach is phenomenal and the houses here are gorgeous, but we can't wait to go back and plan our next trip back here. Yeah, especially since it's only a surface level exploration. Ugh. Looking forward to the next visit. So what do you think? Maybe bikes next time, maybe kayaking next time. Yeah, and some more walking in the trails in the state parks nearby. Yeah. And of course, beaching, going in the ocean and swimming. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, we're a couple shades darker, but we had a blast. We had some good food and good eats out here too. Can't wait to come back. And uh, we're feeling good. And yeah, thank you so much for following. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. Yep. Bye, Bye Yonara. Yonara.